Hi, and Miss Terry and Miss Kylie are coming to you live from Miss Kylie's classroom. And today we are going to talk about how to measure weight. When we measure the weight of something, we find out how heavy it is. Have a look at our little diagram. The frog is lighter than the elephant. The elephant is heavier than the frog. And Miss Kylie, what do we use to measure weight? Hmm, scales! That's right, we use scales! So today, Miss Kylie and I thought we would have a go at making some scales so you could have a go at home and try and weigh different things that you have around the house. So today, the first scale we're going to do is a bit like a balance scale. And all I'm going to use is a block and a tray. We put the block down on the table or on a flat surface and then we're going to balance the tray on top so that it's flat the same on both sides okay and let's have a go and see if we can use this to see some different items which is heavier and which is lighter what are you going to put on first miss kylie hmm i might put a spoon going to put a spoon on one side of the scale. Okay, and I am going to use the sprinkles. I wonder if it's going to be heavier or lighter. What do you think? I think possibly heavier. Mm. If it's heavier, that means this side of the scale should go down. So let's have a look. I'm just going to do it gently. <gasps> And yes, I would say that the sprinkles are definitely heavier than the spoon. Okay, let's try one more, Miss Kylie, and see if we can get the scales to move again. What are you going to do? I might try some vanilla essence. Okay, so we'll put let's the vanilla see. essence on. Whoa. Okay, so the, the scale has moved because we put the essence on one side. Let me see, I might try the scissors. Let me put the scissors on the other side to see if they are heavier or lighter than the essence. Might need to, I'd say they're still lighter because they're not, well, they're just gonna slide down, but they're not tipping the scales back so that they were the same. And they're not going that way to show that the scissors are heavier than the vanilla essence. Okay, so that was just a simple example of a balanced scale. This is something you could try at home. So you just need something that you could put underneath a block, a water bottle, maybe even a rock if you were very clever, and something flat to go on top and so that it can move a bit like a seesaw. The next one we're going to do we're going to use a coat hanger and you might have a coat hanger at home okay so we're going to hold the coat hanger up like that and we've also got some containers and some string you can either make a hole in the side of your container or you can use sticky tape okay and tape your string onto the sides you need two pieces of string and what we're going to do is we're going to tie these onto either side of our coat hanger like that. You need to try and make sure that they're the same. Let me tie this one on first. Thank you, Kylie. And I'll hold it and you try and make yours. I was going to say that to you. So that our scale is balanced. Okay, just show. What do you think? I might lift it up just a little bit more. Okay, so that's our example of the scale, something that you could make at home. What we're going to do now is we're going to put some items in either of the cups and see which is heavier and which is lighter. Okay, so I think I'm going to try the spoon in this side and have a look. The scale goes down on that side because the spoon in the cup is heavier 
than an empty cup alone. What are you going to put in on the other side, Miss Kylie? I might try a piece of Lego. Let's see, will the Lego be heavier or lighter than the spoon? You ready? I think that the Lego is lighter. It is still up and the spoon has moved down. Okay, so the Lego is lighter than the spoon. All right, let's do one more example. Um, I might use this little plastic block here. If it will fit in my container. Whoop. Maybe. Just. What are you going to put in yours, Miss Kylie? I'm going to put in my stamp. Wow. Ooh. Okay, so have a look at our scale. All right. They look like they are almost the same. What do you guys think? Do they look the same? I think so. So we could say that the stamp and the block weigh the same. The scale is balanced, okay? I'm gonna take my block out and we'll leave Miss Kylie's stamp in there and we'll try this little plastic tractor and see if it makes a difference. Okay, I think that the tractor is gone down slightly. So we could say that the tractor is heavier than the stamp. Okay, so let's just remember what we use to make our scale. Just a coat hanger and some string and some plastic containers. If you don't have cups, you could even use something like yogurt cups or maybe the bottom of a plastic bottle whatever you find around the house, but make sure you ask mum or dad or an adult first, and you could always get an adult to help you do this. Okay, so let's remember when we measure the weight of something, we're doing it to find out how heavy it is. And that's all from us at the news desk in Miss Kylie's bathroom. Thanks guys. See ya. Bye. Bye.